Hello guys and welcome to my Max Payne 2 Let's Play. I've just concluded my Max Payne 1 Let's Play. I've yet to upload them, but it will happen. Well, I suppose by the time I upload this, <clears throat> I would have already uploaded them. So, let's begin. Um, I'm going on the... <coughs> I'm going on the easiest difficulty because I'm a pussy. Deal with it. Just deal with it. a damsel in distress. They were all dead. Love kills. Did I love her? <clears throat> was there a choice? The past is a gaping hole. You try to run from it. The more you run, the deeper, more terrible it grows behind you. Sorry. Your only chance is to turn <laughs> around and face it. I was just going to try and turn the voices up. We are at the sea. Repeat, we are at the sea. But it's like looking down into the grave of your love. Check the area! Hold your fire! Or kissing the mouth of a gun, a bullet trembling in its dark nest, ready to blow <coughs> your head off. I guess you can uh, notice that Max Payne is. Two large four IVs get him to ICU. He's not responding. This guy is a train wreck. We're losing. When I woke up in the hospital earlier tonight, I thought it couldn't get any worse. I opened my eyes, and everything slid into focus. She was dead. I was hurt. My crime, what I had done, was like a hungry pit behind me. I had to run, get as far away from it as possible. The world was out of joint. I was hallucinating. I had to get away. Now, do not worry what is going on right here. It will all be explained later. Um, I think you can see that Max has been taken through a little bit of a design change. Um, yes, yes. Uh, instead of being modelled after the gameplay designer, not designer, the story writer Sam Lake, he has been now been modeled after the I'm I think he's a model but it's Timothy Gibbs um yes so deal with it now uh, yeah this is this is Max Payne 2 what do you guys think huh and you'll notice something cool you regenerate bullet time anyone there It's getting a little bit steamy in here. There was a blind spot in my head. A bullet-shaped hole where the answer should be. Call it denial. I wanted to dig inside my skull and scrape out the pain. The max pain. Yeah, it's, uh, it's still Timothy Gibbs, so that's very good. Very happy about that. Checking all the cupboards. You never know, guys. You never know. Yes, I'm gonna answer it. Fuck. Address unknown, huh? <gasps> P 
Painkillers. It's an ad for them. <gasps> what happened? Oh no. I'll deal with pain. He's as good as dead. Freeze, NYPD. Found him. As you can see, the uh, everything is, it's improved, guys. It's improved. Just trying to get the right level of things, you know. Hope that's not too loud. Ha ha ha. I think I'm yelling now. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's one of them. She's here to kill me. Back off, Payne. Winterson. Who's that? <gasps> we don't know yet. Now, if you look here, it shows the... It actually shows the story of the first game. Alright, there's me going to my house. That's me getting to my house. And that's, um... I guess that's bad things. That's my wife and baby dead. And that is me sad, crying. Poor Max. He never, he never gets a break, does he? And they added a new um, melee ability. It's a, You don't need a... You don't need to unequip your C. You just press F. It's quite good. There's Sam Lake there on the right, the mental patient. <laughs> uh, it's lovely, isn't it? Bet you guys remember him. You're not going anywhere. What happened out there? You did it. Eternal Affairs is breathing down my neck. Did you do it? You killed her. No, I can't. Ah! Bullshit. And he's dead already. Not good. You can't run from your past. You'll end up running in circles. And I now Until you am fall unequipped. Back down to the same hole you were trying to escape from. Only the hole's grown deeper. What hole did my guns fall? There we go. This bush it. Now that is Winterson. I tried to run from it. Not Mona. Edited it out. Winterson was dead. I was a murderer. When I was younger, I always got confused and thought that was Mona. I'm glad it wasn't Mona. I like Mona. I think she looks a bit like Courtney a Cox in this. The hospital bed wasn't the beginning. It was past the point of no return. A fatal choice already made, and it would get worse before the end. The past is a puzzle, like a broken mirror. As you piece it together and you cut yourself, your image keeps shifting, and you change with it. It could destroy you, drive you mad. It could set you free. You, inside, drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. You'll see the choices you didn't know you'd made, like staying at work late to chat with a friend, instead of hurrying home to your family. 
Fan out, people. Circle around. Cover all the exits. Kissing her, I think of the cold laws of cause and effect. Bear those extra units. Call the central. We need every available unit here now. I am afraid, but I start again from the beginning. Trace my own steps to the scene of the crime. Yay! Chapter one! I had wanted to be punished for what I had done, but Alfred Woden had kept his word. With his influence, ridiculously, I had emerged from my history of violence unscathed. A hero. I didn't thank him. I couldn't stomach it. I left the DEA. I went back to where I had started out. Back to the job. The NYPD. Yeah. Reported shots fired in the warehouse. There, acknowledge. It's mine. I'm on it. Ten four. That means it yes. Wasn't a call for a homicide detective, but I knew the address. The warehouse belonged to Vladimir Lem. He was connected to organized crime. We went back a while. My brothers caught on opposite sides in a civil war. His words. Everything's being improved, I guess you can see. I need backup. Unknown number of armed perps inside. Possible hostage situation. 10-4, backup is on its way. I'm going in. Yeah, Max. You're a cool guy. Alright. This... For some reason, when I was younger, I had so much trouble with this bit. I just didn't know where to go. And it turns out, you go this way. With no way to deal with the past. I kept my eyes on the road, off the rear view mirror and the road kill behind me. I chased lesser mysteries. Other people's crimes. What is he running from? Oh yeah, everything. Poor Max. Poor Max! <gasps> Please! So good. Oh, apparently I can't open those drawers. That's so dumb. NYPD. Whoa, easy officer, easy. Just cleaning the place. Come on, officer, it's all legit. I work for the squeaky cleaning company. You didn't hear anything suspicious just now? No, no. Oh, wait. <laughs> you mean the gun workshop upstairs? Take gun me there. Shop. Move. Sure, officer. If that's what you want. You know, officer, you cops got it easy. All you have to you do guys think this guy's up to something? Scene and look around a bit. We're the ones who have to clean up that mess, brains and guts and shit. Detective. DT, huh? You know what I mean. <laughs> you get the credit, what do we get? Right. <laughs> oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. This goes up to something. <laughs> He's like the most suspicious guy ever. After you, detective. Just show me the way upstairs. Whatever you say, detective. Now I I know this guy's a rat, so. He's a cop. The perps were masquerading as cleaners. Now you guys can see Ragnarok, yeah. You guys can see that it's, this game is extremely improved on the second game. On the first game, sorry. Um, oh, it's just, oh, it's, ah, so good. Like, you can see that there's ragdolls, and I'm actually going to have to go, guys. I've run out of time. Make sure to look out for part two of this. See ya.